Potentially you're watching this video because you are an independent violinist or violist and you are open-minded towards all kinds of music and musical instruments, maybe including even Baroque music and Baroque instruments. And maybe you are watching this video because you want to build a more successful solo career or chamber music career and you want to add that real depth of voice in your music. And chances are you are watching this video because you are an instrument maker and you too felt fascinated by your discovering this beautiful instrument known today as violoncello da spalla. I want to share with you a beautiful story. However, I want to begin by asking you a question. Have you ever been in a situation in your life when you felt unjustly criticized or maybe even rejected. Join me on a little journey. Some 350 years ago, a beautiful girl named Spalla was born in Bologna, Italy. Bologna is a home to a vibrant musical life, with the basilica attracting some of the finest leading composers of the time, the nobility, the intellectuals, Picture beautiful piazzas adorned with white and pink stones, labyrinths of narrow streets and the poetic beauty of the Apennines surrounding the city. What city could be even a better place to be born to? Unfortunately, Spala hasn't found an easy reception and the rich snobs dictating the musical fashions of the time just didn't want her. What is this thing? Violetta, violotta, bassetto, viola da spalla, viola di collo, violonzino, violoncello, they could not even agree on her name. The publishers would not want to mention her name in their publications. That wouldn't sell. And some of the leading composers of the time were not allowed to mention her name in their publications during their entire lifetimes. How would you feel in their place if all you faced was ridicule and rejection? Luckily, thanks to her infinite ability to express even the subtlest emotions, Spalla got gradually recognized. Artists depicted her in their works, in their paintings and engravings. Instrument makers created countless models. And some of the finest, most important composers of the time, including Johann Sebastian Bach, wrote important parts for her. Now, what am I talking about? As you have guessed, I'm talking about Violoncello da Spalla. And the good news is, after 200 years of undeserved oblivion, Violoncello da Spalla has found home in the hearts of some of the finest luthiers and musicians today in all cities of the world, from Tokyo to New York to Brussels and more. And it is the only instrument of the violin family which you can strap against your chest and feel her vibration as if it was another human being. Now the question is, when is it the right time for you to get even more recognized? When is it the right time for your gift to be noticed in more newspapers, magazine, TV and radio and podcasts? The good news is, Violoncello da Spalla is the only instrument of the violin family which you can strap against your chest and express your musical ideas with eloquence, elegance and depth. Now, do not take my word for it. I want to invite you kindly consider downloading my beautiful album, multiple international award-winning album with all six suites for Violoncello da Spalla by Johann Sebastian Bach. All you have to do now is click on the button below this video or on the link anywhere around this video and grab this wonderful album 100% for free. And do enjoy the music. It's time for you to play an even a bigger role as a professional in music. Thank you for watching this video. I am Dimitri. I am the creator of Violoncello da Spalla. I am violin designer and violin maker, and I'm the author of the upcoming book on fine violin making, and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you more thoughts and more inspiration. And well, do enjoy the music. So go ahead and click on the button below this video and grab this album 100% free of charge. Take care.